welcome to the rally, kindly run in association this year with the Electoral Reform Society. My name is Art Malik, and I'm delighted to be here to introduce you to some wonderful speakers tonight. Sadly, some disappointing news. The special guest we were hoping to give you was Charles Kennedy. Sadly, he is stuck on a train, but we have an able last-minute replacement in Tim Farrah. Who will be and Tim will read out a message of apology from Charles a little later. Now, everyone is here to talk about a fantastic topic which I know we're all very passionate about. No, we're not launching Lembit Oakhead's campaign for London Mayor. <laughs> that, of course, is taking place down the road at Stringfellows. <laughs> We're talking about saying yes, no, lend it, not like that. <laughs> yes, to making your MP work harder to gain and keep your support. Yes, to empowering you and your neighbours so that no MP is elected without 50% of that support. Yes, to killing off the need to vote tactically once and for all. Indeed, Yes to the most important change to the electoral system since women received the vote to right to vote. Waving goodbye to the tired, failed, discredited, first past the post system. And saying hello to a bright new future under the alternative vote. Now this fairer voting system will give you more say and make your MP work harder. It sounds like a good thing to say yes to, to me. You might, in fact, describe it as the jewel in the crown of political reform. <laughs> well, you've got to throw them in. <clears throat> but why should it matter to me? I am, just after all, a humble actor. But again, that hasn't stopped my co-star from the film True Lies, on Schwarzenegger. He seems to have made quite a career in politics recently. Actually, when you think about it, Arnold shares some similarities with a Liberal Democrat conference. Intimidating at first, quite interesting when you delve a little deeper, and surprisingly right-wing. <laughs> actually, actually, California seems to be going bankrupt and referendums are apparently to blame, so maybe he's not such a good example after all. But seriously, voting reform is an incredibly important issue. Not just to you lot who've chosen to be here rather than staying in and watching the X Factor. Well, I mean, come to think of it, if there's any show crying out for voting reform, it is the X Factor. <laughs> Just think, under the alternative vote, maybe Jedward would have won. <laughs> now, I'm also very grateful you have come out here tonight rather than to stay in and watch the coverage of the Pope's visit. I wonder what a man elected by a system of different coloured smoke would make of the alternative vote. Now, one of the reasons why I am a Liberal Democrat is because I am so keen on voting reform. Mind you, that's not meant to be a reflection on my fantastic local MP, Ed David. Is Ed here tonight? Hi, Ed. The man who's going to sort out the Royal Mail. Stand up and take a bow. <laughs> Actually, actually, Ed is an interesting example. Did you know he polled 49.8% of the vote back in May? Now, he'd almost be safe under the alternative vote, <laughs> but not quite. But then again, Ed Davey, Minister of the Royal Mail, if anyone can sort out a few extra postal votes, it's you. <laughs> As I said, I am no politician, I am just an actor. But above this, I'm a citizen, passionate about our democracy. Now, it angers me that 70% of people's votes are wasted in this country. That's more than 19 billion ballots. And that 29% of seats have remained in the same hands since World War II. That's just a third of MPs received the majority of the vote in their constituencies in 2010. 
and that eight MPs currently sit in the Commons having each obtained votes of less than a third of the people of their constituency. The alternative vote is a simple system, but infinitely fairer than the discredited first-past-the-post system we currently use. What it means is that no MP will ever again be elected again without at least 50% of the local vote. And it means that all of us get an MP for our constituency who has to work harder and keep our support. No longer will we have to waste our vote on someone we don't want just in order to try and keep someone else out. Instead, we can vote for the candidate we like best, while also making the one we like least our last choice. And you know what's best about this system? Never again will you need to produce a focused leaflet claiming it's a two-horse race. <laughs> We hope you leave this rally and this conference enthused about this coming fight for fairer votes. I know that everyone in the hall will be committed to this, but we cannot just leave this fight up to other activists. This is a battle that all of us should be fighting. All of us who want our MPs to work harder to get elected. All those who want our MPs to work harder to keep their seats. All those who want more say in who speaks on their behalf, who don't want to waste their vote ever again on someone they do not support. This is a fight for all of us who want a better, more responsive democracy. Now, I won't talk much longer. There are some real experts on political fraud speaking tonight who will be able to say this much more eloquently than me. But I want to emphasize this. I want you to leave here tonight enthused by this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to overhaul this political system, this broken, failed, embarrassment of a political system. I want you to spend the next four days talking amongst yourselves, strategizing, plotting, inspiring each other. And then I want you to go back home and start selling this referendum like crazy, knocking on doors, writing your focuses, Enthusing your friends, family and colleagues. We need to make our mark. We need to make the most of this opportunity. We need to win this campaign for fairer votes. Thank you. We have for you tonight some rally favourites backed by popular demand, new favourites to be and some fantastic special guests. Later on we have the glamorous Liberal Democrat trio, Joe Swinson, Tim Farron and Nick Clegg. We have revered, I think that deserved a round of applause. We have revered political campaigners, Martin Bell and Pam Giddy. We have for you the Vice Chairman of our rally sponsors, the Electoral Reform Society. He's a former Liberal Democrat leader of Islington Council and will be a familiar face to many of you here tonight. He is a committed, passionate, avid supporter of electoral reform and it is a great well, pleasure on my behalf, sorry about that, and it is a great pleasure to welcome him to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Sharp. 